How to add advanced deposit in Softin PMS. Your guest would like to make a reservation but she does not know when is the exact check-in date and how many guests will be coming. In this case, you request your guest to put an advanced deposit first to guarantee the reservation at your hotel. Check out this video to find out how to add advanced deposit in Softin PMS. Log in to Softin PMS. Select the correct property. Click on the Others tab. Click on Guest, and click on Advanced Deposits. Click on the Add Advanced Deposit button. You can insert the guest name if the guest is your existing hotel guest. Note, if she is a new guest to your hotel, you would need to add her to your all guest list first before you create an advanced deposit for her. Let me show you how to add a new guest. Click on the Others tab. Click on Guest. Click on All Guest. Click on the Add New Guest button. You can fill in the guest details here. Once added, you can go back to the Advanced Deposit page. Back to Advanced Deposit page. The guest name has been selected. You can insert the amount for Advanced Deposit. Select the Payment Method. Select the Payment Account. You can insert Remark, if any. Click on the Save Changes button. The advanced deposit has successfully been created. You can generate receipt for the advanced deposit paid. Click on the Yes, Generate It button. The official receipt has been generated. Click on the receipt number to send the receipt to the guest. Click on the Send to Guest icon. Click on the Apply button to transfer advanced deposit to your guest folio. If there is no reservation created for the guest, there will be no folio available. Click on the refund icon to refund the remaining advance deposit to the guest. The edit button will not be clickable after you have generated the receipt. Note, you cannot void an advance deposit if it has been applied to a folio. When the guest has confirmed her check-in and check-out date, you can proceed to create the reservation in PMS. Click on the reservation tab. Firstly, select the booking source and then insert guest details in the main contact section. Next, choose the check-in and check-out date. Select a room type and choose the room number for this guest. You may update the number of guests as well. For the room charges and taxes, you may just select a rate plan, or insert the daily rates by clicking on the dollar sign icon. Tick the applicable taxes, if any. Once done, you can click on the save icon in green to save the reservation. Click on the guest folio icon. The total charge is RM460. The total payment is RM0 as you haven't transferred advance deposit to this guest folio yet. The yellow exclamation mark icon refers to the room charges is not fully paid. Go back to the advance deposits page. Click on the apply button. Click on Folio. Select the reservation that you have created for Samantha Lee. Click on the Apply button. You can click Folio number and you will be redirected to the Guest Folio page. The payment added will have the advanced deposit number. You have received RM500 as an advanced deposit. The total applied to Folio for room charges is RM460. The advanced deposit balance is RM40. The remaining RM40 you can refund to the guest or remain for the next reservation. Note, you can use advanced deposit to the different Folio number under the same guest name. Imagine that Samantha Lee has another reservation and she would like to transfer the remaining RM40 to that reservation. Click on the Apply button. Click on Folio. Select another reservation created under Samantha Lee. The amount to pay by using advanced deposit is RM40. Click on the Apply button. Another folio number will appear as well. Define your hotel staff user access in managing advanced deposit. You would need to grant the user access to your staff according to their role as to either view, create, edit, or delete advanced deposit transaction. Click on Go to Extranet. Click on the More tab. 
Click on the Manage User button. Click on the Manage Role button. Go to the PMS section. You will need to tick this section to ensure the user can manage advanced deposit. Tick S to give your PMS user access to view, create, edit, or delete advanced deposit. Hope this video helps you on how to add advanced deposit in Soft and PMS. Hi, thank you for watching our video. My name is Nur Farahim Pedikale, and my role is Digital Marketing Executive from Marketing Department. I am responsible for overall company brand design, which includes design for website, marketing campaign, and products. If you found our video useful, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button.